Yes mother, at this point, I must do everything it takes to get into her position in that company. Mother do you know, I went to their house today to visit them as usual, when I arrived, everywhere was looking different, by the time I knocked on the door, one strange man came out from the house to answer me, he said he is the new tenant in the apartment. What? Are you telling me the truth, new tenant of the apartment? How? Yes. So what happened to them, where did they go to, are they no longer living in that house again? Yes, don't you know, Grace has rented a brand new apartment for her entire family, and they moved without telling me, it was when I got to her office that she told me the whole story, she claimed she was too busy and occupied with work and family that she forgot to tell me about it. This means she didn't eat the cake you took to her that very day, because she is not supposed to be making meaningful progress in her workplace or in her life had it been she ate it, this is why you should have made sure she ate the cake in front of you, all these wouldn't have happened, it's all your fault. I know, I really blame myself about it. Simple assignment I gave you, you couldn't deliver it properly, I'm not happy, I'm so angry right now. I was also angered when I found out they have moved houses to a new apartment, she is making so much money in that job mother, if not, there's no way she would have made enough money within a short period of time, to rent another apartment for her family, mother, if you see her office, it's like heaven. What? Like heaven? Yes, air conditioner is chilling her office continuously non-stop. You don't say. I didn't feel like leaving the office, she even said it herself that she has so much peace of mind working in that company, if you see Grace now mother, you won't recognize her again, she is looking so beautiful and fresh, she now wears expensive clothes and shoes, mother, her boss is also very beautiful lady, I saw her today, I was so jealous of Grace, when I was in her office, I felt like a nobody in their midst, I can't take this humiliation anymore, mother, I want that her job, I deserve it more than her, I want to be able to enjoy what she is enjoying now in that office. What to do what to do? But I'm worried, if I take anything food to her again, she might not take it as well, I think she has become too wise and overprotective over herself now to eat food from people. You are right. Let's stick to the plan of creating problems between her and her boss, by so doing, she will throw her out of their company, and by the time she is gone, you will replace her perfectly in the job, case closed, we need to work on her, as well as her boss too. Her boss? Yes, go now and buy me these items from the market. Which items, let me see. A mug and a perfume. But what are these for? You will wrap it as a gift for the both of them after I have performed some special rituals on it. Then while going to see them again in their office, you are going to present it to them. You will see how things will unfold. The job is going to become yours soon. Just watch and see. Oh thank you mother, you are the best. I'm very sure this our new plan will work this time. What's the time? It's almost 6 o'clock. I need to go home now, I'm so tired, I think I have tried for today. See who is finally home. Good evening mom. Evening dear, how was your day at the office? You look exhausted, come see let me ask them to bring you food. Okay, thank you. But mom, I don't like the way you are carrying your hair. My hair? Yes, your hair is not looking good. My child, I don't have money to make it. Don't worry. I will call someone to come to the house and fix it for you so it can be neat and tidy. You want to spend all that money just so I can look good. Calling someone to come over to make my hair will be very expensive. Mother, your daughter is now a rich girl. You don't have to worry. I'm making money in my job now am I not? So relaxed let me take care of you and the family. Is that not why I'm making the money in the first place? To be able to take good care of you and my siblings. Oh, my child, you are a perfect gift from above. My God will continue to bless, favor and protect you in everything you do for taking such good care of me and everyone. Amen mom, having you as my mother is such a huge blessing, I feel lucky to have a woman like you as my mom, your prayers keeps me going. So how was your day at the office? It was great, guess who came to see me today at my workplace? Who? It's Annabelle. What? Annabelle came to your office today to see you. Why? What is she looking for, and what did she come to do? 
Mom, please, take it easy with the questions. I will not take it easy with the questions. I have told you countless times that I don't like that girl. My spirit doesn't accept her. I have tried to, but God knows it still feels off whenever I see her. She has something up her sleeves. She has jealousy in her. She's not the type of person to keep very close as a friend. Don't say I didn't warn you. What a mother like me have seen. You as a child may not have seen it. Be very careful with her. Okay mom, you didn't even allow me finish. What else do you want to say? Mia hearing her name is enough to make me angry. She must have gone to our former house. But she didn't see us there. Then she decided to come to your office. But how did she even know where you work? Oh my mom can be very paranoid sometimes. You think I'm being paranoid? Okay, no problem. It's your life, live it the way you want. But when it will happen, don't come crying to me. Nothing is going to happen, stop thinking negative. Okay, no problem. Of course, nothing is going to happen to you or your job, my God will not allow that. But you must do your part as well. Home sweet home. It feels good to be back. Where is father? I want to see him, have missed him a lot. He must be in his room, let's go and see him there. That's right, let's go. Oh, my wonderful son is here. And look who we have here, the famous and rich Stevenson, my father. <laughs> my son, you haven't changed, you always know how to make your father laugh. Good evening, dad. Good evening, my boy, welcome back home. How was your journey? It was good. And how are you doing? I'm good. How is the family business going? Great. Your sister is doing a great job in your absence. I'm glad to hear this. I'm super proud of her. Paul, you are now a grown man. It's time for you to settle down. Father. Yes. What are you still waiting for? Give me grandchildren before I die. That is what is remaining. I have made a big name for myself and family. What else can a man ask for? Father, nobody is talking about death here now in this house. Not after we lost mom. We are not going to lose you. You are all we've got now, and we want you alive. Else, we'd be like a house without a roof. I'm not dying now. I'm only saying I need to see my children raise their own family now that I'm still alive. Don't worry, father. When I find the right girl, I will settle down with her and give you grandchildren. Now I'm happy. Mom, I'm going to work. See you when I return. And by the way, your hair is beautiful. Thank you. Okay then, bye. My daughter, wait. What is it again, Mom? Let me pray for you. I'm running late, Mom. I don't want to be late today. I heard the CEO's first son is coming to the company today for supervision. I don't want to have any issues there or lose my job. Really? If that is the case, then hurry up, but make sure you say a short prayer when you are in the bus going. Perfect. I will do just that. Bye. God, please protect her for me. I don't know why I have this bad feeling today. Always direct and order her footsteps to greatness. Shield her from the eyes of the wicked ones. Turn her efforts to success. Maybe I'm being paranoid like she said. I have eight minutes to be at the office, else I will be late. I need a car. I'm saving up for it. In few months' time, I might just be able to pay for a new car. At least it will make me move faster when going to work. Is everyone here? Yes, everyone is here. You can now begin the supervision. You can go. I'm done with you. Thank you, sir. Next person. Who's the next person? It's me, sir. You. You can come over here. Let me check your credentials. Okay, sir. Oh, God. Please help me. Let everything go on fine with mine. Who employed you in this company? It's Madam Janet. But you only have a diploma certificate. Yes. She has gone through some trainings after she joined us. Check it well. It's there. And she still have plans to further herself soon. Okay. I see. That's very good. It's okay. She can go. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, sir. You are welcome. That was very funny, though. Next person. Today is the day I give to them their special gifts. A very special gifts indeed. <laughs> 
By the time I'm through with her, no one will be able to recognize her, I'm going to take everything from her, let her watch and see, her time is up already, nonsense. All the things I have ever desired and prayed for, is what she is getting, while I get nothing, who even knows if she didn't steal my stars from me, I'm suspecting her, I don't trust that girl one beat. Who knows where she is. Let me check her office. Thank you for standing up for me. It's nothing, you are a very hardworking employee, so this company needs you. Thank you. I will be in my office, I have files to attend to. God, who am I that you are so mindful of me? See how you narrowly saved me from trouble using this Madam Janet. I'm so grateful to you, it can only be you doing all these things for me. <coughs> Sorry sir, I didn't know you were here, do you need anything? No, it's okay. I will be in my office. Hum. Is that not the beautiful boss of Grace? Yes, it's her. I think this is my perfect opportunity. Let me go quickly and present her with the gifts I bought for her. Good morning. Morning. What's that your name again? Annabelle. Yes, Annabelle. Good to see you again today. Did you come to see your friend Grace? Yes, I came to see the both of you. You came to see both of us, I hope no problems. No, no, I bought you this, it's a token of my appreciation for what you are doing for my friend Grace. Oh wow, this is beautiful, a very beautiful mug, I like it. Thank you so much Annabelle, you have a good heart, I have always wanted to change the mug, I use in drinking tea, here in the office, but I haven't gotten the time yet to do it, it's as if you read my mind. I'm glad you like it. If you are looking for Grace, check her in her office. I guess she will be there by now. Okay I will, thank you. Oh I feel off, I feel somehow. Maybe the charm is working on her already. Annabelle wait, I had wanted to ask, are you not working? No, I don't have a job, but I would love to join your company if only you will take me, I don't know if you still have vacancy here in your company. I want to work with you as well, I promise you, I will perform better than Grace, if you give me the opportunity to work with you. Anyways, I will think about it, then get back to you. Yes, thank you. I will be in my office. <laughs> the charm is working so fast already. I better behave myself here. It's time to go give her own gift to her. Grace my friend, good morning. Anna, my friend, good morning, how are you, you came this early to see me again today. Yes, I bought you a gift. Wow, let me see it. I know you will like it, I was passing by the street market, I saw it, I remembered that I didn't get you something the first time I came, so I decided to get it for you, the fragrance is so nice, you will like it. Oh wow. This so nice, I like it, it is a good smell. Thank you so much. Let me spray it on my body, I want to smell nice like this. Sit down let me ask them to get you something to drink. Okay. I'm so happy she has used it in my presence. It will start working soon. Let me see how she will escape my mother's charm this time. She's so beautiful, I just like how she behaves. What? Why does he stare at me like this every time, it makes me feel so uncomfortable. Oh Paul, snap out of this before she notices the way you are looking at her. Madam, you sent for me. Yes, make me a cup of tea, okay ma'am. Wait, use this mug, it's a gift I got today. Okay. Ma'am, here's your tea. Thank you. Tell Grace to see me immediately. Okay. What is this nonsense she sent to me, this is not what I asked her to do for me, is something wrong with her? Thank you so much Grace for the drink, I have to be going now, we will see again soon. Okay Anna, thanks for the beautiful gift, I appreciate, and thanks for coming to see me, I will make out time to visit you. Okay, bye. Let me go and see Janet, I was told she wants to see me. 
Grace, I'm so pissed off right now, you really pissing me off this minute, look at the work I asked you to do for me, you just messed it up, are you dumb or something, I think your friend Annabelle will be better than you, maybe I should just hire her to come do a better job for us, because I think you are just good for nothing. What? What did you just say Janet, what have I done this early morning, please tell me so I can make corrections, and what has Annabelle my friend got to do with this, not like she's working here with us. Stop calling me Janet, I'm your boss, I'm not your colleague, don't you have respect. I'm sorry, but I don't understand, make me understand. Go back and redo this work immediately, you only have one hour to do it, or you see what will happen to you in this office. What? Okay I will do it. Let me have it. One more thing, don't expect it to cover up for you next time in this office during vetting next time, you have less than three months to upgrade your certificates, else, you will be thrown away from here. Oh my, I'm finished, what is going on, it's as if everything is turned upside down for me. No problems ma'am, I will go quickly to redo the work, I will bring it back once I'm done. Better. God. What just happened inside there? Why was she behaving so strangely towards me like that? What did I do to her that made her talk to me in that manner? I have never seen her that way before, and why was she mentioning Annabelle's name? What has she got to do with our work here in the office? Did Annabelle see her when she came here today? Maybe she did. What did she tell her? What did they discuss about if they saw each other that is making her compare her to me? Oh that's Grace, I've been looking for an opportunity to talk to her in private, but she looks worried, what could be going on with her? Maybe this is my chance to go talk to her. Hello Grace, can I talk to you for a few minutes please? Okay sir, go ahead, I'm listening. What will you be doing after work today? After work, I should be going home. So you don't have any other plans aside that? No I don't, but why are you asking? Oh Paul, tell her what's on your mind already you not saying anything what please sir I have so much work to do I have to submit this work in one hour's time maybe when I finish with it then you can tell me about the thing you want me to do for you after work I don't want madam Janet to get upset with me hope it's okay this way I think it's okay that way tell me when you finish please don't forget it's very important I will and I won't forget yes at least I am able to finally talk to her, I will take it one step at a time. I'm so very happy today, my visit to her office this time was a huge success, I can't wait to tell my mother about it, I will need to start preparing to take over work from Grace soon. Receiving gifts from friends is nice, having good friends too is a wonderful and beautiful thing to experience, but before you use a gift sent to you by someone, even if that person is your friend, pray over it. Your prayers will neutralize every negativity, attached to the gift. Be wise.